success. Yeah, that's good. Did you get it from the Chandlers? No, I had to get it from the little shop. Oh, cute. Yeah, yeah, that's right, then. not it? Yeah. It cost 70 pounds. 70. But that's because we did get the newbie. 39 for the uh, thing and 30 for yeah. the gas inside But it. now it's ours. Oh, but it's not really, is it? Because we have to swap it. Yeah, it's never really yours. Oh. The gas inside it is. Fine. Something That'll like do. That. Feels good to have a spare, doesn't it? Yeah. So now we've got three. Yeah. One of them full. One of them a quarter full, one of them empty. And we should have brought a couple <laughs> more here, but yeah. hey. What do we like? All right, I'll go and get coal. Okay. All right. Off I go. I can't see any aspersions on anybody's uh, boat handling abilities, but there's these wide beams. They're absolutely colossal, some of these wide beams in uh, this marina. They just look like such a pig to move, don't they? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't want to be in charge of one of them. I wouldn't fancy it. They've all got bow thrusters, which I think is just like an absolute necessity if you're uh, handling one of them. But, but they've all been uh, sort of like shuffling around at the moment to get gas and stuff like that. This one's getting quite close to us, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure they know what they're doing. <laughs> we won't film it. <laughs> no, add pressure to their thing by filming it for them. All right, is that why you're hanging around? Yeah, a little bit. I'll go. Go on, I can Just handle the situation. We're across from the dry dock. It looks like a boat's just gone in because all the water's been pumping out. So I guess they, yeah, put the boat in there when it's all wet and then drain it out. Thank you very much. Cheers. Right, do we have everything we need? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. I'm staying on zero to get some washing done, but um, Vic's taking Holly to the water point to top up with water. You can see the front of her is like raised up a bit. But, like you can see where the water line's been. Got her water tank out again. Maximum chimney. Yeah. Oh, look at it going. Sun's out. <laughs> How was today? Um, today was good. Sold out of cakes. Made three different cakes. Sold out of a lot. Yeah. How's the coffee? It's perfect. Is it? Yep. So do you live in it or no? No, no, we live in that green one. Oh! I was going to say, it doesn't look like you've got the space to live in. No, it. no, that, so it was the plan to begin with, but well, I'm glad we did it. Have to, have to, yeah, like, move too. Yeah, really? Joe jo drives that one that we live on and I drive this one usually. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Is there any what you prefer to drive? I think or I just. Or does Joe prefer one than the other? I think Joe prefers whatever's got the least fresh paint job. <laughs> <laughs> so. I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two hot chocolates with regular milk. Right. I don't know. I've got one for us. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. See you later. Thanks, guys. I dropped a soap in the canal, did I tell you, yesterday? <laughs> and then the canal was really clear and I think it's my soap. Yeah, it's cleaned the place up. Oh, nice today, it's going to be a sunny day, I reckon. Yeah, so, I hope so. Yeah, we're feeling positivity today. Positivity. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the agenda today? Well, we made three cakes yesterday and um, got a photo of them. We had a nice little array of different cakes. We had a ginger sponge, a Guinness and chocolate cake, and a lemon drizzle. Didn't do any video. But uh, they, sold, they sold out. This is why we're like, I think the first weekend we made like a cake and some brownies. Yeah. And then the next one we made like, okay, we'll double up on those things. And now we've sort of tripled it. They sold like hot cakes. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh. oh, hello. Hello again. You right? Oh, yeah, you. Thank you. Oh, good. Oh. Just a coffee this morning. A coffee, you. yeah. What kind would you like? Oh, the latte again. Two lattes. Two lattes, one yeah. With sugar. One with sugar. Got you. Thank you. <laughs> Got all busy, didn't it? Yeah, sorry for the interruption, but basically, yeah, we're making loads of cakes and seeing how many sell. But ba the general gist is if you bake a cake, it will sell. So. Seems to be. Um, this week, we're going to ramp up our cake manufacturing processes. Yeah. But anyway, this lemon drizzle is about to go out. I'm gonna pack it on this one. Ooh, loudy. That is drizzly and lemony. Look at the lemon drizzle thing as well. That was my first use of the chalk pen and I think it's really done itself some favours there. <laughs> it's Sorry. like the, the visual equivalent of an onomatopoeia. Yeah. <laughs> Pop that there, maybe put a little cloth. Like in the lemon drizzle sign. Yeah. <laughs> it's all well that, that's um not meant to be all drippy, but it was the first time I'd used a chalk pen. I was like, oh I can't. Say. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it looks really good. Looks like it says lemon pizzle cake. Oh my god, we're such coffee people. Ah. Oh. oh, what's that? Okay. Thank you for your order, Joanna. I hope you are having a nice day. Best wishes, Katie. Anyone in Lancaster, go and check out Atkinson's. I'm glad I didn't go too overboard on the cakes today because yesterday everyone was like what cakes you got what have you got we could have sold like probably double yesterday but um today people are just going for a leisurely walk with a coffee not a cake day today well another weekend's trading draws to a close how do you think it went really well I think it's been going really well every weekend really I think now I know, I know how to bake more bake six cakes for the weekend you're shell shocked aren't you I'm shell shocked I don't know what's going on it's been good though I think we've got one more weekend in Willington one more weekend here and then lockdown is lifted for boats so then we'll have to move on and then we'll be moving on all the time Mm. So this is kind of a little calm before that, a chance to get things in order. Yeah. Practice things, and I think we've done pretty good on that front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've made a little list of little things to order whilst we've got the post office. It's supposed to groove, shall we? Yeah. Well done today. Good hustle. Yeah. 
good hustle for you. It's pretty nice. Uh, it feels like a, a good, honest day's work. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. There's a, a fisherman camped outside our boat today. So he's just been talking to him for the last half an hour. What's that? You love talking to fishermen, don't you? Yeah, he was interested. <laughs> What's he up to? He's searching, he's looking for perch. Yeah, searching Maybe for perch. some, oh, I want to say, Zacher, Zucker, Zurcher. Oh yeah. Something like that. Um, some non-indigenous fish. Zyza, Lysander, something Zander. like that. Zander. There you go. How's it going, guys? All right, thank yeah, you. Yeah, all right. It looks really good. Is that mm. the first bit of varnish? Or the unfair? first I've bit of varnish. I've just started, but I'm going to let Ben take all the glory. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> People don't believe that you actually did that window, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> Where did you get the idea when? I don't feel like I've seen that on a boat ever. Um, we went through some, we knew we wanted a window at the front, we just didn't know what we wanted. And uh, I drew a load of really bad designs. And then, we were watching Grand Designs one night. <laughs> and they'd made like this <laughs> Hobbit house on Grand Designs. And the front of it, they'd built around a, a dead tree and kept the dead tree standing. And they'd glazed a part of it, and that's where that's when the idea came to me and then uh, at work the next day I drew it out and it just looked right but I spent drawing. so long drawing it out and because it was so every time you drew it out you tried to draw it out really regimented and think about it too much and I just couldn't get the shape of it right and every time I drew it and tried to make templates it just something didn't work about it so I joined all of these bits together square and then just 
went for the bandsaw with it and just bandsawed any loose shape that I could possibly come up with. Because yeah. um, it was more organic that way. But up until then, I'd tried measuring things out and drawing it properly and nothing ever looked right. I feel like we should say at this point that this is what Ben does for a job. He's, <laughs> yeah. not, he's, not, he's not just had a go at that. <laughs> 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 this is my favourite bit, like when you varnish it or well that's everything. Yeah. And it just like pops. Doesn't it look so clean? Like you can sand it and then you put the varnish on, it's like ah. Oh. It looks so much better, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really good. Mm. Don't appreciate it. <laughs> like everything else. You don't spend like it's living just our window, isn't it? It's just our window, isn't it? I think living on a boat is mainly missing the beauty of the fact that you live on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> amount of time people you just shoot yourself away at night and you think I'm actually in a beautiful location <laughs> it's true it's true, true though, though isn't it? yeah, just... yeah. Uh, youtubers I've seen you two on youtube <laughs> <laughs> True Ben style. It's not somehow. It's not over. the whole jar. But, but he got to the end of the jar over the box. Oh, it's always at the end of the jar when the glue gets knocked over. <laughs> Boom! Out of here, you know. <laughs> like, drop the bike, bang, bang, bang. I think that's what it is. Oh. <laughs> it's like it's not to work. Oh. It's all gonna be all right. We're off on a little walk. I thought we'd fill you in on our plans for the kind of immediate and not too distant future. Um, so for like for this summer, I think we're going to go down to Oxford. Well, you got to tease it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> Blow out the big stuff. <laughs> so as we all know, lockdown is ending at the end of this month for boats. Like people can go out on boats again. I think from the 29th of March. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to be able to stay in Willy Bob, Willington. Yeah. It might be the 12th of April, I need to check those dates. But either way, um, our time at Willington is coming to an end. And so then we, the usual continuous cruiser rules will apply to us and Holly, which means we have to move every two weeks then, minimum. Minimum? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if not before that so we're gonna make our way down to the Oxford Canal I think down to Oxford this summer just because we've been on that stretch before and it was lovely and we just fancy having a really lovely time in the countryside is that what you were gonna say yeah oh. <laughs> hi the great thing is the trees are getting green bits on them it's the first day of spring two days ago I think yeah. And look at those beauties. So at the moment we're in Willington. We're going to toddle down the Oxford in the summer and then um, later on in the year we're getting, we're building another boat. I don't know if some of you might not know that. Um, but that's the plan, building another boat to live on. So that'll be up here again. So we're going to pop down to the Oxford for summer and then back up here for winter, get this other boat underway and then make a plan from there pretty much isn't it yeah we're talking about what we're going to be doing a little later down the line oh. being on uh, the canal a lot of the time means that um, you're not really that often on kind of higher ground quite often hunkered down low in the countryside uh, so being on this railway bridge is quite a nice... We've done this before, just come up, climbed this railway bridge and then just sort of like stood here looking out at it and just hung out on it basically. So what's your plan for the boat, the new one? Thing is, the intentions with the new boat are fairly solid, I think. They always stay the same. It's basically to live um, 
as sort of efficiently as possible with like simple and efficient systems. We want to be able to go anywhere um, and be as self-sufficient as possible with the least reliant uh, on fossil fuels as possible. That's sort of like partly for kind of like environmental consideration reasons but also just because it's cheaper that way and just better because you don't have the feeling always that you're tied to anything. It's nicer. A freedom. Fancy. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Should we have a fella? Slightly less public footpath. And we're just sort of looking into all the options now, aren't we? Yeah, that, and that's the thing. It's like... So while the intentions for the boat stay the same, the plans for it like vary massively and are just going nuts. Because if you'd asked me this time last week, I'd have said, all electric mate, all solar panels, not a drop of diesel on the whole thing, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm convinced that actually maybe a hybrid, uh, sort of, it calls, call it parallel hybrid system, is perhaps the most appropriate where you've got an engine and then a, electric motor sort of mounted on top but obviously it would be brilliant to just live off the power of the sun and stuff but in England it's pretty uh you'd have seen it's a stretch yeah, it's pretty bleak <laughs> <laughs> um another thing about doing another boat is um we've lived on zero now for five or six years yeah so we've kind of learned what we like about it, what we were, if there's things we would do differently or um, basically I want a bath <laughs> is the main thing. Not the main thing, but... Um, you say main thing. Yeah. We're trying to make it like a, re like, like almost, not a luxurious boat, but luxurious for us and what, for what we, what our priorities are and what we use it for. What was it? There was bath and there was, you know, just things like, different kinds of cupboards different kinds of cooking methods god my, mine all do sound really like female <laughs> female thinking <laughs> it's cooking and baths right. but, but that is what it's about really is making a boat that's um good to live on yeah that isn't just a boat for being a boat's sake yeah it's like um one that we use to its full advantage yeah yeah, and get the most out of. Yeah. I think that was very well said. Thank you. <laughs> well, we've come to the end of the road. Yep. On the uh, private keep out. Private. So, forgive Circle us. back. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Don't use the Lord's Prayer in vain. <laughs> <laughs>
nobody who cares about me I miss the poor boy who's full of sympathy Buzz, 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 buzz <laughs> In the cold I could lay me down and die <laughs> <laughs> oh baby why <laughs>